out of Miami going to Imola in Italy. Now, the funny thing about um, the race in Miami is, like I said in the last post, the race is not that interesting because um, I think races has been becoming a little bit dull recently. There were times races were dull when Mercedes were winning, but you know, we still have some actions, a lot of actions in the front. Formula 1 is all about having action in the front and action at the back. Lots of battles. Last year, we still had a lot of battles between the Verstappens and the Leclerc's and the signs sometimes. I know the purpose thing last year brought a lot of beauty, you know, cats going <laughs> wobbling, dancing, jumping all, all around the track. You know, it was so beautiful. But this season has been the last five races. That's the main five races of the season has been just. Well, major thing is we are moving to Imola and we're expecting some teams to bring their upgrades. But let's check back. There was a time I dropped a video about what made the Red Bull so fast and so strong. During the Miami race, Ted Kravitz also gave his analysis that tallied with some of the things I said. But there are two things, or three things that I didn't say that um, I learned from him and I want to talk about because they are so important things that we need to talk about. My name is Oshifes Solu Adam Lari. I'm a mechanic. Welcome to Exxon F1, also known as Formula 1 Column Africa. Number one thing is this. We talked about the floor. Um, the Red Bull team has been able to use their floor to their own advantage. They've been able to generate about 70 to 80% of their downforce from the floor. That's the essence of the floor. Having a good floor in F1 because the, the air is able to suck the floor to the, the floor of the car to the ground, keep it closer to the to the ground, and also propel it forward, make it faster. Now, if you're having a perfect floor with the perfect pods that are the side of the car, grained with a good suspension geometry, that car is going to be fast. The kind of floor the Red Bulls are having is so good for their car. The front and the rear end are so close to the floor, which I described in the last video about why Red Bulls are so fast. Almost the same floor that the Ferraris are having. Not the same design, but the way, the profile of the floor, how close the floor is to the ground, which makes it beautiful. Now, with that floor and the suspension of the car, they are able to get the right timing for their tires. Timing that the Red Bull has, for the tires the disadvantage for them which also works as an advantage to them now the red bull don't actually get the right or the perfect heat into their tires at the beginning of the race or during practices it takes them like two three laps for them to get the right on the perfect heat into the tires for them to warm up the tires and when the tires are warm up the tires kick up beautifully and also it helps them not to overeat the tires that the tires will lose their lifespan easily so which means the red bulls are able to preserve their tire life that's why on the grid this season red bulls have been the perfect team on the tires they've been able to warm up their tires when tires get warmed up they last longer because they don't overheat it and put much pressure on the tires because that that car is lightweight remember last season after like three or four races red bull were able to shave off paintings shave off a little things and make their car lightweight so their car was the lightest car on track last season but this season their car is far far the lightest car on the track this season they have a very light car which makes that car gentle on tire wear and gentle on the road so because the car is light they have a good front suspension that has a disadvantage of eating up the tires fast but keeping the balance of the heat it helps their speed because with the speed of the car you need a good tire and the tire should have a good lifespan to last longer and also to maintain a perfect speed for your race so that combined with other things the red bull can maintain the speed they are fast because they are lightweight and they have the right heat tire structure it gives them an advantage over other teams now let's look at them i think i've explained the way the, the suspension geometry is let me take you back to that the leading part of the wishbone is higher than the trailing part which makes the air flow perfect now their wishbone unlike ferrari is not conjoined close to the car theirs are separate the double wishbone is separated as in going into the chassis of the car but the ferrari is conjoined a little which gives them an advantage on the air flow down to the side of the car and to the floor but on the red bull it's so different it's one is higher the other is lower 
which is the same multiplier, but they are well separated to give a smooth ear flow down to where the hair is meant to go on the car, which gives the car more downforce to project through the air. Now, let's look at Ferrari. Ferrari has a good design. They should be faster than the Red Bull, I believe. But I think one of the problems Ferrari are having is they're having a setup problem. The floor dynamics is okay. They might need to tweak some, some things under the floor to make the car a little bit more faster. They heat up their tires so fast. Now, their tires don't last. When they heat up their tires, they keep frustrating that tire, keeping it to the tire so their tires don't last. Ferrari have been having tire issues all through the season. In Miami, they have tire issues. All through the season, Ferrari has been having tire issues. Now, the floor, I believe they need to tweak some things on the floor. Their suspension is perfect for the race. But Ferrari lack understanding. They've not understood their car. They were just like Mercedes all through last season. Mercedes never understood that car, the W13. Now, Ferrari are having issues understanding their present car because sometimes they will set it up, the car will be fast. Sometimes they will set it up, the car will be so slow. And on a single pace lap, that car is fast. Most times, the Ferrari car on a single pace lap is faster than the Red Bull. So why can't they get their car faster or fast? all through the weekend the problem is set up they need to get their setup right if ferrari can get their setup right they will be on the par with the red bull because that car the design is so fast they can generate a lot of downforce tweaking the floor or rejigging the lower profile of the floor will give them more advantage than red bull but i think with that car with where the car is now is a perfect car for them to win the championship but they are lacking the understanding of the car to give them the right drive to win the championship that is for Ferrari, but for the Mercedes, the troublesome Mercedes, the undrivable Mercedes, the I don't know what to say again about the Mercedes. But majorly, we've talked about the front suspension. Coming to Baku, they did a reprofiling of their front suspension, but I still believe they need to change that suspension, make the suspension able to to get the airflow directly into the places the airflow is meant to get to, to give the car the right balance it's meant to have. But that flaw, I've always complained about the flaw of the Mercedes since the beginning of the season. The flaw of the Mercedes is as worse as the flaw of anything. That, that flaw is nonsense. They need to change the flaw. About two races ago, McLaren brought new flaws. Alpine brought new flaws. And see how the flaws Alpine brought had changed their fortune. The McLaren, they are still learning a lot about their flaw, but it has shoot them up it has given them an advantage in the championship but mercedes need to bring a new floor i believe mercedes coming to imola one of the things they are bringing is a front suspension new floor totally new floor and um, they won't really change the side pods or the, the engine cover they might just do some little little tweaks on it but majorly they need to bring a new floor a new floor the total totally the new the floor has to be changed to get the right drag on the floor because the frontal part of the floor is too is too high so it gives them problem it's just like the red bull of 2018 but they still need to understand a lot of things on that car but our messages have been able to to get that car working at least sometimes getting on a podium or getting close to a podium is still a miracle i think it's still a miracle but working out the floor getting a new floor for that car and also the front suspension and front wings that will work with the floor of the car will, will make mercedes push them closer to the aston martin or even closer to the red bull because they need to get closer to the aston martin if they want to get closer to the red bull the aston martins are so fast that's the second fastest team on the grid this season take it or leave it aside from red bull red bull are in their own league it's just like they have a different champions league for red bull now they now have europa cup that's in football they now have a europa cup for those for ferrari mercedes and aston martin now they now have europa the europa conference league for the rest of the <laughs> of the grid that's how it is this season so the champions league is now between like the italian games they play the champion between ac milan and inter milan is now between checo perez and max verstappen for the red bull that that's what their own champions league is do you understand what i'm saying so the mercedes to get a profile for their floor change their front suspension and their front wings and also do some little tweaks on their side pods now for the aston martin i think that team just needs some little tweaks on their car bring some little updates to make that car faster that car is perfect the way it is it's just that they are they are losing time to the red bull and the time they are losing is about between five tenths to seven tenths that's what they are losing to the red bull the mercedes are still losing about 1.2 seconds to the red bull the ferrari are losing about eight tenths to nine tenths to the red bull and sometimes on a single pace lap the ferraris are on par with the red bull but on a race pace they are losing about eight to nine tenths to the red bull 
But on a single lap pace for the Aston Martin, they are losing about five to seven tenths. Also, on the race simulations, they are losing the same amount to them. But Mercedes, all through the single lap pace, they are losing 1.2 seconds and over just to Red Bull alone. They need to get their profile right, get the car working for them to be in the competition. I'm not seeing Mercedes possibly winning this competition, but miracle no they tire Jesus. Anything can happen. Meanwhile, I'm still holding on to Verstappen not winning championship this season. Red Bull might sabotage themselves, but let's leave that to Red Bull to deal with because they still have a long season to battle and long races to battle. But that is it. That is why the Red Bulls are so fast and the other teams need to catch up with the Red Bulls for the season. But we believe with the direction the Ferrari and the Mercedes are going, next season will be a better season for them. There will be a lot of recruitment in Ferrari, power changes in them. Mercedes that might turn their season around and the McLaren team will be a competitive team next season we hope they're able to get their onions right they'll be a competitive next year the, the, the Alpine gave a lot we analyzed the Alpine closer to Imola race we analyzed the Alpine and the McLaren and what they are bringing to the table to give the, the midfield a run for their money also be able to analyze the Alfa Romeo the Alfa Tauri the Williams and also We'll be able to do a lot of analysis on the ass also and like i said in the last race we are expecting andretti to come into formula one by 2025-26 with a team like um cadillac and also we are, we are looking at a taipei team a singapore team possibly if they're not coming in to invest in williams we are looking at them coming in on the grid to make the grid either 11 or 12 team grid until then until next week keep watching next on f1 like subscribe comment we love you you know we love you. We keep giving you the best content, the best gist on what is going on. And share. Love you. Cheers.